Alright, so we are back with episode number 22 of the 2K23 PS5 My Career Series. And in the last episode, we had our college games. There's more to that uh, in the future episodes, so stay tuned for the channel. In today's video, we are finishing up the Fashion District Quest. We're going to complete it in the end of this video. So stay tuned for the entire thing, man. If you haven't already, drop a like. Let's hit 1,000 likes, and we'll continue posting two to three videos a day. You guys want longer videos, so I'm going to post not four videos a day, like two to three, but 25, around 25 minute long videos, because what you guys wanted. Subscribe to the channel, man. Let's get into it. MP, I can't thank you enough. Everyone is talking about this shirt. And other players are hitting me up for custom designs. Really? Well, don't forget about me when you become famous. I could now. never. <laughs> you sure? No. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's really, really cool to see you thriving. And to see my t-shirts all over the city, that's super cool. Thank you. Thank you, man. A little narcissistic, but I get it. Hey, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I mean, the good news is we're sold out for weeks. We're back ordered. Everyone in town wants one for the playoffs. All we have to do is get a few supply chain issues ironed out, and we are so good to go. Let's go. I'm Audrey, so excited, man. You, you, man. you did a heck of a job, oh, seriously. Thank and you. And I only helped out. It was all you and your design, so thank you. Thank you, but you had something to do with it. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Oh, Professor Shield. Hey, you enjoy the game? It was very impressive, and not just the game. Audrey, how are you? I'm good, Professor, thanks to MP. Oh, no, uh, listen, it was a mutually beneficial collaboration. It well, wasn't all me. to be honest, I love what you two are doing together. In fact, Audrey, would you be interested in being a guest judge at the upcoming Student Spring Fashion Show? I mean, it's always great to have a former winner at the judges' table. Nice. What an honor, Professor. Who are the other judges? Well, Shep, and I know you have a history, but I hope that won't dissuade you from attending. And MP, if you're interested. Oh, oh he's... Interested. Very interested. For sure. Yes, interested. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful then. Now, uh, if you excuse me, I am in desperate need of a commode. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the way. This is what? huge. To be a guest judge on Callaway's court, I mean, that's crazy. instant credibility. It airs all over the country. Listen, listen, this is exactly what we were hoping for. I know. So when is this happening? Uh, three games from now. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. don't let Shep clown you on national really, television. Really, really? I got this. You got this. Welcome back to Callaway's Court, where we are down to our final two designers. So, Matt Schaefer, tell me about the inspiration for your outfit. I was inspired by 90s streetwear, specifically the Chicago house scene. Mm -hmm. We're talking Frankie Knuckles, gold chains, Jordans, and black tees. I love it. You know, I spent a few weekends at the factory myself back in the day. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt indeed. Okay, Alex Swin, now tell me about your inspiration for your design. A very different take on streetwear, yes? Yeah, yeah. So I went for bold. Mm -hmm. Bold, in-your-face graphics, like a collage of cultural influence from BMW to the punk and hardcore scenes where I grew up. Um, all, of, all of my designs come with a zine. Oh, that's great, that's great. You know, I really appreciate the uh, manic intellectual quality to your work. It's as if you squeeze the entire internet onto a t-shirt. I mean, that's entirely what I was going for, <laughs> Professor Shields. I mean, that's crazy. It's, I mean, it's amazing for me because I was just waiting for people to, to des design clothes that I wanted to wear and and finally, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to make them myself. So wonderful, is... wonderful. Cool. Well, now it's time to hear what our judges think. So, MP, which one of these two outfits would you wear? Okay, for starts, the two of you are very talented designers, so kudos to you. Um, but I normally go for a more classic look. Um, I love throwback jerseys, retro sneakers, and mm my guy Matt here so that old school look for me so great job man <laughs> that's because you an old man bro <laughs> you look real fly in that retirement oh, home please man I look flying whatever I wear <laughs> I don't know about you looking like you fresh out of trash can <laughs> uh, Shep I take your verbal sparring to mean that you have cast your vote with Alex yeah that's right I like what's new I don't revel in my past achievements like MP over here I'm always trying something different feel me no, 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 that actually makes sense because Shep's idea of high fashion is changing his dingy white tee once a week. Man, you ain't care about any of this till the people started wearing my shirt. Now look, everything I do, you try to come after. Listen, Shep, I know this might pain you to hear this, but... Uh... Yo, for real, man. Since I play in this city, I want to use my platform to support local artists mm. and entrepreneurs. Mm. Maybe you should spend more of your time in the city doing just that. Where well, you're still what relevant, you, man, for real. What are you talking about, bro? Uh, okay, well, I ah, think it's time we let Audrey teachers. weigh in hey. and break this tie. 
both designs are incredible, but I'm gonna have to choose Matt. Great job. <laughs> the 90s are so hot right now and I'm digging the baggy silhouette and wide leg jeans. Again, congratulations, Matt. I should have known y'all would stick together. Whack minds think alike. Oh. Having worked with both of y'all, I'm absolutely sure I'm siding with MP. Sorry. And look, at least he doesn't have a tattoo of his own name spelled incorrectly on his back. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, I, I, I can't see what someone's tattooing on my back, you know? Like... Okay, all right. Well, there you have it, folks. We have our winner. And as a special thank you to our guest judges, the winner will custom make a version of their outfit for each of you. Oh, wow, so that, that's super yeah. fire. I can't wait to rock that, y'all. Yeah. But real quick, thank you guys, and congratulations once again. Man, I don't even want that thing. You can let MP have mine. Well, I'm sure our winner will be very disappointed. Listen, thank you again for having us in this event. Oh, thank you for doing it. it. And thank you, viewer, for tuning in to Callaway's Court. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, make it look good. <laughs> Thanks for coming. On. Thank you. Great job. Great job. All right, I'll give you credit. For what? What you've been doing with Audrey? It's cool, man. Okay. Appreciate that. Too bad your game's still trash. <laughs> That's why I got that Hammond Classic belt, and you still trying to perfect the art of the chess pass. Yo, I hope you enjoy <laughs> while you got it. Cause you know I'm putting together a team for the classics though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Good luck, son. You gonna need it. So that was a pretty interesting cutscene. I don't know if Shep messed with me or not, but uh, that was, that was kind of odd. It was interesting. In, in this game, we're gonna play against the Indiana Pacers. This is gonna be a good one, bro. The Pacers have Tyrese Halliburton, and they have, uh, they don't have Buddy Heald. They have Miles Turner, who's a beast in the paint, but he's getting scored on by Al Horford. So the way the story's progressing, like, you gotta complete all these districts, the business, the fashion, the music. So far, we completed the music. Then, you know, hopefully by the end of this video, we're gonna have the fashion district finished, then the business district left. So. I don't know when the story will end or like at what point because we're only I think we're like halfway through the season at this point Green light, bro. Come on, but I think we're only halfway through the, uh, the season. So I don't know how much more is left But I still haven't really got many endorsements or anything crazy So I'm expecting a lot more left, you know how many cutscenes and all that I've been enjoying the story, bro This whole Shep rivalry. We still haven't played Shep in a regular season game like all this hype I gotta play him in a regular season game But we'll do that soon. Look at that move and I miss it, but I never give up. Give me that steal. I'm going to the paint. Hold on. Easy leg. Bro, I equipped a new package in the last video you guys saw. I equipped some new packages, and they had me doing that nonsense, looking stupid. Um, doing street ball moves in an NBA game as a rookie is wild. As the 18th overall pick, or 17th, whatever I am. But now I am a 92 overall. Very soon I'm going to be a 93 overall. And uh, this game is on a superstar difficulty. So I did say once I get to a 93 overall, I'll be on Hall of Fame, so I'm very close to that. I've been playing off camera, you know, some of those challenges like at, at the different parks for the quest, um, stuff that you guys probably don't want to see. Hold on, flying in for a dunk. Tyrese Halliburton is dope. I'm actually a big fan of Ty Tyrese Halliburton, but he can't really guard me, you know, respectfully. And we can't guard that, <laughs> can't guard him either. I'm surprised that TJ McConnell is still in the league, bro. Like, he's definitely beating the odds by every metric, and uh, he's been guarding me for a lot of this game. I gotta cook him. Like, I'm just gonna fly right past him. Like, come on, stop playing with me, bro. He's like 45 years old and slow. And he's missing that shot. We're getting the re. Fast break time. Hey, this should not be as close of a game. Tatum giving it to me. Hold on, I'm trying to go past everybody. Backing him down, waiting for Robert Williams to cut in. Robert Williams! Bro, he should win most improved player. If anyone deserves it, it's Robert Williams. We have team takeover. He's setting a beautiful screen for me to green a shot. And I'm doing my Jordan celebration, the shot. That's one of the animations I equipped as well. Hold on, get out the way. Uh, getting foul, bro. What I've noticed so far this year playing 2K, there's a lot more aggressive contact foul animations, which is dope. But I've yet to get a flagrant foul called on me. Good steal, Dula. All right, all right, hold on, be patient here. Be patient, scope out. Ooh, look at the double cross. Nice pass to Jason Tatum. Bro, that's like a Hall of Fame type of play right there. I'm really on track to be the GOAT. Tatum again, going in the paint, and one. Bro, where's his takeover? We are taking over. Six point game, I'm trying to cross over. Step back, woo hoo, green. That's my shot creator tendencies right there. On defense, we're leaving, we're leaving. Who even is that? Respectfully, I don't know who that is. I'm a casual. If you guys haven't noticed too, we've been calling plays all game long. 
If you guys want to have this layout so where it shows on the court, go to your coach settings and then turn on the play vision light. Turn that on for all plays and one. That way, uh, plays are run automatically and it's actually way better. Like, everyone's been getting open shots for us because we run plays. Look, look at me cutting it. Look at me cutting it. Ah! Oh! Getting fouled again, man. It's annoying. But on the bright side, my free throw is uh, almost maxed out. I think it is maxed out. So I should be uh, hitting most of them. Green again. So yeah, we still have a lot more big matchups to play. Look at me attacking the basket. We've yet to play the Warriors on video. We've yet to play the Lakers on video. Like, there's still a lot of teams uh, that I'm looking forward to show you guys. And then even once the storyline ends, bro, the way I'm going to do the My Career Series, it's, it's still going to be fire. I don't miss. But yeah, this is going to be a very good year of my career. Um, we we got to win rings, all that stuff, man. Spinning in for a lay. Like, I'm, a lot of these videos are cutscene heavy. But once the storyline ends, I'll still make them longer videos and, uh, you know, just have more bangers on the way. But I am enjoying this story. Robert Williams. Yeah, so like I said, we still have some more college to play. I got to unlock that. Uh, a lot of stuff I have to unlock. I just do off camera. Good steal, Dula. Hold on. Add you to Tatum. That was weak. I'm really trying to progress the story because I know a lot of you guys uh, haven't got 2K. Some of you guys have, man. How do you guys like it so far? The My Career Storyline is I'm pulling up for three. Green! Brother, you got you got a guard duel. You got a guard duel. Tyrese is cold. I'm taking his ankles, going in the paint. They can't stop me. Come on, coach. Come on, bro. And we have team takeover. It's time for Tatum to do a step back and get his buckets too. What's dope about Tatum is that he's a very good facilitator. It's not like he's just a pure scorer. He can facilitate. And now at this point, man, it's a 20 point lead. I can just have fun with it, bro. I'm just passing up to Tatum in the corner. Catch and shoot. Green. Like, bro, I need a real matchup, but maybe I should go to Hall of Fame next video. Uh, maybe I should just go to Hall of Fame next video, bro. Because <laughs> Superstar is not cutting it. It's way too easy. And that's it for this game, man. We got the W as always. Double, double, doula. I'll catch y'all in the next, after the next cutscene. What up, team? We feeling good about our foray into the fashion world? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am getting nonstop requests from fashion sites and influencers, and they all want to talk about... The t-shirt. I ain't talking. Okay. Yeah, some of them don't even know you play basketball. Oh, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great thing. Uh, your last post got no less than 500,000 likes. Ooh. Okay. You were officially too big to manage your own account. Okay, I <laughs> think I'd say we're ready to plant a flag. MP, oh, what man, you think? Flag. Oh, yeah, it's time. All right, okay. well then, Mila, how about you do the honors? I mean, oh, you were the one that suggested all no, 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 no. Ashley was the one that set up the meeting with Callaway. He's been the linchpin oh, here. Oh, no, 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 I thought I was the linchpin. Oh, no, you're the MacGuffin. Wait, the MacGuffin? What? The who? The MacGuffin. It's a plot device that's necessary to move things along, but doesn't really mean much in and of itself. I mean, you got things from A to B, but Callaway was the star. All right, cool. Real quick, Mila's been taking a screenwriting class, and she comes up with a lot of concepts. Hold on, wait, wait. Based on what you just said, though, wouldn't Callaway be the MacGuffin? I mean, he's the thing that MP needed in order to take over the fashion district. So, yeah. I mean, it could have just been like an orb. That's a great what? point, actually. Uh, orb. orb? Callaway is the, the MacGuffin. MP's my little McMuffin. Oh, well, oh I, I, okay, that makes sense. Can we just plant this flag and get no, on the No, 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 no. Okay. That was a moment. But I will say, I'm digging this whole flag thing. Oh, you don't and say. And I would like to see if we can make some money off it. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, you you want to get into the board game business? No. No, there's very low margins. Is that what you're talking this, about? Hey, look, if you do board it, make sure I get my cut. No, right? but there is no, there's no cut. Hey, there's some, no, some hey, nope, see, there's, this is why I love you, MP, because you keep no everything cut. on the up and up. Oh, God, there's no money. No, there's no cut. You family. I agree. So now for going national, we have to sign with a major beverage company and I was kind of struggling on how to do this. I was like, what do I have to do now to unlock it so I can be done with this business distri district or get closer to finishing it? In the Mountain Dew endorsement, I'm four or seven free spirit levels and I was confused what that meant. But I realized all you gotta do is just walk on the runway a million times and you can see on the left, my free spirit levels go up after each time I do it. It took a lot of times. I gotta wear the certain clothes for it to work and then boom, I unlocked the free spirit level seven to seven and that allows me to get my Mountain Dew endorsement deal unlocked, uh, which proceeds, which progresses the story. So now we are signed with Mountain Dew. Don't drink Mountain Dew, a lot of sugar. It's not good for you, caffeine. It's, it's horrible, don't drink it. Just drink water or Celsius instead. So now we can move forward to our next cutscene. Oh man, it has been too long <laughs> since Bobby Miles been in this office. We've come a long way since the last time you were here. Indeed, indeed. All you, kid. Yes, sir. Hey, Petey tells me that your uh, whatever it's called is through the roof. Z rating, and through the roof is a bit of an exaggeration. Uh, it's only one point above Shep. It's 1.7. 
technically. Yeah, we might as well just call that too, right? Whatever yes. it is. Yes. Yes. Whatever it is. 1.7. MP has done everything we've asked him to do and then some. Mm -hmm. First order of business. Get your face out there on that billboard instead of old what's his name. Let's go! Yes! yes. Yeah, that one really Shepard. got your goat, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 uh, Mila and I have been working hard on developing billboard prototypes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wanted to keep it a secret. I see. Uh, she's got a really sharp sense of branding, MP, and to be honest with you, I was quite impressed. You were, eventually. Okay, look, I won't apologize for being highly protective of my client's interests. Nevertheless, Mila here proved to be a, uh, an ideal collaborator. Okay, well, it sounds like you two had a boatload of fun. It was an experience. Show them the thing. Show them the thing. <laughs> okay, Let's okay. see it. Okay, we managed to settle on three options, each with a slightly different feel, but we all believe within the parameters of a newly established Perco Latte branding guidelines. Here we <laughs> yeah. have. Yeah, uh, no, I've edited them from a PR perspective. They all work. Look, all they right. did a great job, but They're fine. honestly, it's just a matter of personal preference. Wait, no, no, wait, hold on. I got a question. So all y'all kept this a secret for me? No. no. For how we, long? We don't socialize. <laughs> but but, but I will work, say, so I don't know. that is really nice of y'all. Yeah, One with peace, son. Excellent choice. Yeah, I would have picked that one too, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, but wait, there's more. <laughs> I feel like a game show host. <laughs> Pete, okay. tell them what's good. Okay, due to your frankly shocking increasing Z rating and likability rating and your English perceived Pete. all in the courts. I think that was unnecessary. Okay. We want you to star in our national commercial. No, 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 what? no, 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 no. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's amazing. Yeah, you earned it. What's go. the concept? I don't want to give it away just yet, but Pete and Uncle Bobby and I have been working on something pretty special. Okay, okay, oh, wait, do I have to like, memorize oh, wait, lines or anything? There's going to be a teleprompter. Okay, okay. It's not set in you. stone, and as long as you can read, it should happen within a week or two. Oh, hey, hey, I can read. I got this. <laughs> hey, kid, can I just say what a joy it's been to see how far you've come in so short a time? It is an honor to be in business with your son. Yeah. Uncle Bobby, man, it, it means a lot to hear you say that. I won't let you down. I know you won't. So I fast forwarded the game. Here's the next cutscene where we have to go back outside and see what happened outside of my office. We got a surprise waiting for us. This all ties up with the storyline. And boom, I got my new billboard, the Perco Latte Doula Cafe. Wow. What's up? Oh, well, well, well. Come on. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> look at that. I mean, it's not really my best side, but. Babe. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wow. Uh, he beats seeing Shep's face up there. Let's yeah. start with that. Um, I dig it. Mila, heck of a job. Thank you. Seriously, this is awesome. You know, you worked really hard too, MP. You should enjoy this. Thank you. I will. Um, but I want to say. Sorry to you guys for blowing up on you the other day when the billboard went up. You know, that was my pride talking, and I'm not too big enough to say I'm sorry, so. Hey man, don't even worry about it. It's water under the bridge, you know? Appreciate you <laughs> saying that. Are you gonna get them a truck full of roses too? Whoa, skirt, run it back. <laughs> oh, you got a truck full of roses? I all right, did. now I do feel cheated. Oh, that was supposed to be private. I know? changed my mind. You know, you know it's <laughs> fine, it's fine, because all you gotta worry about now is hoping somebody don't climb up there and spray paint on a mustache or like some devil horns. How will someone even get up there? <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> there's some crazy people that come from the city. He has the most right? notorious graffiti crew in the city on his side, so I think he's gonna be okay. Who set that up, by the way? I forget. Uh, I don't know, I forget her name. I think she was a lovely lady, and she's a Stone Cold Knockout. Uh. Mm. Are you about mm. to propose right now? Ricky. I'm just no. saying, no. I was feeling that kind of energy. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, Wrong. not for nothing, but the right marriage proposal could really boost your Z rating, so that would be. Can we not talk about that right now, please? <laughs> Ashley, please. <laughs> Look, in all honesty, congrats, man. I mean, this is big. Literally, I mean, look at that. It's your big face. Bro, you are so corny, <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, but you love it, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel better about my jokes now I hear your jokes. I mean, that's who I am, bro. Yeah, clearly. Ricky, world-class uh, agent, Dad top jokes. flight punch, <laughs> punching bag. I love Ricky I'm at your service, man. <laughs> I love him. <sighs> Y'all all right. Now it is officially time to shoot my commercial. The moment we've all been waiting for, man, my first commercial shoot. As a rookie, bro, I'm doing it big already. It's time to head to the, the cafe and uh, shoot this commercial. Hopefully I don't flop. Oh, there he is, my superstar. How you feeling, MP? I'm good, man. Uh, yeah? How you feeling, good? I'm great, I'm great. Big day for both of us, yeah? Yeah, going national, man. Yes, <laughs> this is sir. Exciting. Walk with me, come on. You got the script, right? Yeah. Any yeah. questions? No. 
No questions? All right. Now just remember, all I need from you is be cool. No, I mean, impossibly cool. Yeah, yeah. Right? Any colder, you freeze to death. Yeah, yeah, I you got know? you. I got you. I know what you mean. We're an aspirational brand, right? So I need the folks at home to know they too can be as cool as you if only they had a percolate in their hand, yeah? I don't clear, Uncle Bonnie. Fantastic. Now, this is your mark. You stand there, right there on the T. That's right here? Yep. We're facing out this way, okay? Which way? Right here. Camera's over here. All right, set it up, people. Quiet on the set, please. As many takes as you need, right? Okay. Ice cold. Cool. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> and action. I didn't see you there. You know, I've been drinking percolate for as long as I can remember. And I don't drink it because it's cool. I don't drink it because they plant a tree for every espresso that I buy. And I don't drink it because they pay me, which they do, a lot. I drink it because it's good, darn good. Now, couldn't you go for a darn good cup of coffee as well? I'll see you there.